As the popularity of mobile app development continues to rise, businesses are looking for solutions to develop cross-platform applications that can function seamlessly across both Android and iOS. In this video, I will be talking about two of the most popular cross-platform mobile app development frameworks, Flutter and React Native. We will compare these two frameworks and determine which one is more suitable for you to choose. Here note that cross-platform means an app that works on both iOS and Android operating system. So to start off, let's see why are Flutter and React Native so popular. Obviously, native applications that are created using native languages work better on mobile devices. Like Java and Kotlin are better to develop an app that works on Android. Similarly, with the existence of Swift or Objective-C, why are we choosing these frameworks to build iOS applications? Well, there are a lot of reasons behind that. For smaller and medium businesses, it's impossible to afford these costs of hiring two independent community of developers, one for Android and other for iOS. So why pay more if it is possible to choose between React or Flutter, a cheap and fastest way to build an app that works perfect on both platforms. This saves a lot of time. So when a company saves time, it saves cost. Now I hope you got the point why considering a cross-platform solution is better for most businesses. Next, let's see the comparison between Flutter and React Native. Flutter is an open source cross-platform framework created by Google for building beautiful natively compiled mobile applications from a single code base. It was first released in 2017. These days if we compare React Native versus Flutter, you will notice that Flutter has become more popular among developers. Flutter uses Dart programming language. Dart is a new programming language that is designed as the combination of multiple languages like C++, Java and JavaScript. Flutter targets multiple screens which means that there is no need to develop separate apps for web, mobile and desktop. React Native on the other hand uses JavaScript which is a statically typed very mature and powerful programming language. While Dart is a relatively new language, it has gained popularity among developers due to its simplicity, performance and flexibility. React Native was created by Facebook in 2015. It is a mature and stable framework. To become a React Native developer, you need to master JavaScript, React and React Native, whereas in case of Flutter, you only need to learn Flutter and Dart. I hope you would be thinking, can I write native code using a cross-platform framework? So the answer is yes, you can. But it is not necessary to do that. However, sometimes you need to add some configurations in your native folders. React Native uses native UI components to build user interfaces, whereas Flutter uses uses its own set of widgets and material designs to create UI components. React Native uses a bridge to communicate between JavaScript code and native code. When a developer writes code in React Native, the UI code is compiled into native code. The native code then runs on the device which provides high performance and a native look and feel. Flutter on the other hand uses a unique approach called widgets to build the user interface. Widgets are the building blocks of the Flutter framework. Work. Widgets can be assembled to create more complex widgets and so on. This approach provides a high level of flexibility which allows developers to create unique and responsive user interfaces. React Native uses a bridge to communicate between JavaScript and native code whereas Flutter does not require a bridge. This means that Flutter is a little bit faster and more efficient than React Native in terms of performance. Now let's see some real world mobile applications that are built with these frameworks. React Native is already used by big players such as Facebook, Instagram, Airbnb and Uber, whereas Google Ads, Alibaba and many more are built with Flutter. Moving forward, if we look at the community of Flutter and React Native, React Native has a larger community and more mature ecosystem than Flutter. However, Flutter is rapidly gaining popularity and is becoming a more popular choice for mobile app development. Finally, let's see which one you should learn. Both React Native and Flutter are powerful frameworks for mobile app development. React Native allows developers to use their existing knowledge of web development to create high-quality mobile applications. 
applications. While Flutter provides a unique approach to building user interfaces, both frameworks have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice between them ultimately depends on the specific needs of the project. Now, what I recommend is that if you know web development and have good experience in JavaScript and React, then you should go with React Native. Otherwise, if you are just started or you are coming from native app development, then go for Flutter because you only need to learn Flutter and Dart and it is also an emerging technology from Google to explore. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. For more videos on web development and programming, make sure to like, share and subscribe so that you never miss any updates. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.